uh, we are at the age of artificial intelligence or at the beginning of the age of artificial intelligence. So why, why, why it's, it's very important to recognize that is because whether you like it or not, it's going to happen, right? It's already happening. So it's, it's again, as a business, it's up to us to decide, okay, what are we going to do with it? It's a little bit like, um, uh, you know, 30 years ago, we were talking about emails, right? So letters versus emails. Do you want to use emails or do you want to continue sending out letters? I mean, we still sending out letters today, but if you say you're going to ignore email, then I would say right now on hindsight, you're crazy, right? But at that time, there were, I'm sure there are people who will still be hanging on to writing letters. So I think we really, really need to recognize the, the age that we are today, right? And in terms of a technological timeline, this, this timeline has been around for a long time. Like, for example, if you look back on the left-hand side, we're talking about history here, we're talking about writing, we're talking about invention of the wheel, right? So again, we have to recognize where we are today, right? We, we, like I said, we like it or not, it's happening. So I think we really have to recognize the, the, the very fact. So this is something that we, and the other part that, that I, I would like to share, and this is something very personal. And um, that, this, this is actually a mind map that was drawn on a piece of paper, right? When, when somebody asked me, um, no, is, is the technology a good thing or a bad thing? So I, and this is more philosophical, right? But eventually when I, when I looked at it, is, is my, my conclusion was that technology will kill us, will eventually kill us. And I still hold the same, I still hold the same view today, right? Uh, for very one very simple reason that appeared in a couple of times on this mind map, right? Uh, and, and that characteristic is scale, right? Scale will, and AI is really about scale, the ability to do things faster and, and quicker, right? And, and unfortunately, sometimes uh, AI gets it wrong too. So that, that is also pretty scary sometimes. Right, but scale is really going to be, um, like I said, I, I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not a pessimist. In fact, I'm, I'm a realist. I'm also a very optimist. So my, our job today, if we, if we recognize that, you know, AI, this is the stage of AI and, and technology eventually will kill us because, for example, think you have to think about things like climate change, you know, the, a lot of things that are happening now and, you know, you have to press a big button and the, and the nuclear war starts, right? So that's... That, that is a, these are realities today, right? But if we recognize that and we, we look back, so what is our job today? Our job today is really to try to extend the time between now and the end of this. And that is our job. And we have to recognize it. So this is what we hope to do and what we really try to do in all the things that we, in all the things that we, we, we think about and, and well, sure, we try to make the world a nicer place first before we hand it over to the next generation, right? Um, I mean, we have well, got children and all these things, so we start, we have to start thinking about that and start thinking about legacy as well. So I think this is very important in terms of um, where we are, and and I just like to share that a little bit about about how I think about technology. I see. You also share about some of the jobs uh, that could be disruptive as well. And how should we uh, prepare ourselves? I know there's a lot of uh, news on uh, uh, getting the citizens to upskill themselves, right? But what should they be upskilling in, right? Um, how should they be forward looking? Um, in the next few years, what sort of uh, roles should they, you know, be prepared to take on, right? So we should do our preparation today and for the new generation. Um, so, yeah. Do share. Yeah, I, I think, yeah, you're, you're right. So I think we are, it's very important for us in the decisions that we make. So like I said, we, we, we have to remember that the top 10 jobs we have now, they don't exist 10 years ago, right? So, so if you ask me, what is the, what is the kind of top 10 jobs that, we'll, that we will have in 10 years? Uh, we have, may not know, right? Because chances are you will not exist. But, but on the other hand, we, we sort of have to recognize, we have to realize that uh, how, how, how the, this age is going to transform what we call the future of work, right? So uh, I'll go back to the, the 100 years back. Uh, if you have a, uh, if you're a coachman, right, uh, mm -hmm. of a 
horse carriage, transporting people on horse carriages. And when the Ford Model T comes along with the car coming along, so what are you going to do? Right? You have to decide whether you want to remain a coachman or start learning how to drive. Because you have sort of have to recognize that it's coming. So the recognition that the car is here to stay or air is here to stay is very important now. Or it's here to stay. So like I said, I like it or not. Uh, 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 it's, it's the same, like, let's say, for example, um, we are, we're uh, starting to be involved in, in, in a lot of work with, uh, say, for example, transcription. Transcription means that uh, note-taking, simple, as simple as note-taking, right? Uh, the problem here is that today, the, the, in the courts, right, the, you know, the stenographs, stenographers that they're working on, it's the same thing for the last 50 years, right? The problem here is that nobody wants to be a stenographer anymore. Meaning that, can you imagine, I, I can't imagine asking my child, my, 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 my child to, to be a stenograph and to be a, they call it typist, lah, right, to, to do that for, for their career, as a career, right? Because number one, we, we should be looking into letting the machines taking over, right? Instead of doing that, let the machine do it. And, and the human will still be involved in editing and all these things to make the final call, right? Which also means that you have an increase in productivity. So it's still the same job, but you, you, it's machine assisted now. Like I said, it's the same conversation with using things like AutoCAD, using things like Excel. So, so if, you, if you see AI, there's nothing more than a tool to a, end to a means, right? Uh, a means to an end, then, then there's nothing more about just using a tool. So I think it's, it's, we have to put ourselves in the mindset. So as a, as a gap, right? Um, where the kind of jobs that eventually we will be doing in, in the next five years, 10 years, uh, we, I, I think it's important to, to go in a certain mindset. Maybe again, it's also time to, just for the fun of it, right? Um, talk a little bit about um, the kind of jobs that we, we, that I think they are in demand today, right? And it's already happening around the world, right? Perhaps I can also share my screen now as well. So you would say that it's a worldwide phenomenon. Um, oh yes, it's worldwide. Exactly a, a, a Asia thing. And do you think we are keeping pace? What do you think compared to the pace. worldwide scale? Um, you know, are we keeping pace? We, I, I, okay. Uh, again, I think we depend on which part of Asia you are. But I, I must say that. So, so if you are in, if you're in China, then I, I would literally think they, they have already won the AI war. Or meaning, depending on your opinion, right? Uh, the the reason is simply because AI has has to do with a lot of data. So you, if you have massive amount of data, then chances of you sort of uh, to be ahead is much higher, right? Well, of course, different sets of data, uh, and uh, from different regions would mean slightly different things. So so I I wouldn't say that we are in some parts of Asia. I think we're still lagging, right? But in other parts of Asia. Like I said, depend on where we are ahead. Um, I think Singapore is we we have a competitive advantage too. So the so so the advantage around the region is I would say slim, still very slim simply because we're a small country, right? We have uh, resources and the amount of data that we have is also somewhat limited, right? So so we really we I think from uh from um if you if you say from a broad perspective of us Asia, right? You got to remember Asia almost half the, more than one third of the world's population, right? And, and I we honestly think this is the most exciting continent uh, to be in versus in the US and versus Europe, right? So it's very exciting times, simply because we are, our growth rates are still, got, it's still going upwards, right? So um, we, we eventually, I think, honestly think we will catch up, right? Um, whether we will become a world leader, I think that really depends on us. It really depends on us and how we think. Mm -hmm. Sure. You were midway trying to share your screen. Um, oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I just wanted to talk, touch a little bit about um, the, the jobs, right? We're talking about the kind of jobs and in, in if you're doing a, doing a bit of work, I, 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 will, I will skip this for the while, right? But the jobs, that exist today, that are in demand today, are these and and these are the kind of verticals that we really should be looking into. Because, like I said, if you are if you are in the print business, right? <laughs> if you are in the print business, then you really, really, really should be worried, because the the print, as in a paper form, is going yeah. to. 
Yes. Right. So you have to recognize that. Right. And and if you are in the and if for me because we're in the video business, then we we are even starting to think. Okay, can we can we start uh, searching, uh, in the virtual reality world? So we have to start thinking ahead as well. 